Hello, it's Joe Lyons. In this video, we're just going to have an intro to regular expressions, kind of talking about what they are, um, and doing some very, very basic stuff just to give a demonstration of um, how they work in AutoHotKey. Um, for this example, I'm using this tool called Expressive, written in AutoHotKey for AutoHotKey. Um, I think it was Al Algubist. Um, I can't quite remember, but I'll post a link to it. Um, it, it it's nice because I like because it, it shows some of the highlighting for what you're working on, and it'll um, of course work well in in uh, AutoHotKey because it's using AutoHotKey for driving it. So the right here is my um, haystack, right? The text that I'm going to search through, and and what are regular expressions, right? They're they're um, think of just pattern matching, right? And and what it is is there's a special I'll call it language for back of, lack of a better term to identify certain things in your text and it's always you're looking at text documents or files or whatever and you're gonna look for patterns in it and um, sometimes you can do regex match and sometimes regex replace and um, I I'll get into more advanced stuff later but for this one um, I'm just gonna demonstrate a little bit of here with with where I have the same text over and over and over um, I'm gonna put up here and this is where I'm gonna start writing my regular expression now um, this really isn't the way you would do this, but I'm going to put in the, just so you can see how it works. Right, and so right now, it looks through all the text and it's highlighting all of the thes. And if I tell it to ignore the case, see how these first ones aren't highlighted? If I tell it to ignore case, it's going to pick up both of these. But, um, and actually, we'll just go ahead and leave it as that. And let's say I actually only wanted those with the, and then a space, and then lazy. So, if I go in here, the, space, lazy, now notice it's only flagging these. Right, um, now here's where it gets into a little bit of the uh, the formatting. Um, the I think it, this is a class here. I'm going to put it in here and say slash s, and s is a um, it's think of it as like a shortcut type of thing. It's a um, code that um, a symbol that will allow you to say I want to look for a space. I want to look for the word the, and then any sort of white space, and then the word lazy. And so that's why it's picking these two up. Um, Let's say I actually wanted to isolate lazy, right? What I can do, and see how groups here is blank, that's because I'm not telling it to, to actually grab any groups. So I am going to put parens around this, and now notice it'll say lazy is the first match. Now, it just does it in this tool, it's showing you the first one, but other tools will show you every match, and you can iterate over them. Um, and let's say I actually wanted the and lazy, right? So these parens allow you to isolate what you're getting. And notice here is the and here is lazy. And, and let's switch here to replace. So um, actually let's say, let's do another one. And then we're going to add a backslash s and I'm going to say dog. Um, and so now I have all three, the lazy dog. But let's say in, in the replace I wanted to do um, the dollar sign three space dollar sign two space dollar sign one so notice it changed the order of the lazy dog to dog lazy the right and that's because in auto hotkey you put in this dollar sign in the number and that is telling it which pattern which group sorry which group that you want to pipe back in now in regular expressions you don't normally put in the actual word sometimes you do if it's a unique enough um, but you really don't want to tie it down to something that specific typically so what we'll do is we'll put in like this is the slash s for white space slash w is for words but that actually is just one letter and what you want to do is we're going to say a plus sign will indicate one or more of those things that preceded it right so i'm going to change this to slash w and i'm just going to copy this guy and i'm going to put it here and here um, and what I probably want to do, I think, is in here, put that. And let me go back to um, my groups. Oh, oh, that uh, backslash wasn't supposed to be there. There we go, the quick brown. So now, in st instead of getting um, the lazy dog, it's looking for the first word. Um, this makes it not greedy. I could have added um, a U here. The I is case sensitive. The U is going to make it ungreedy. I'm sorry, yes, ungreedy, yep. And um, and then that way it will look for the very first one. Um, and, and let's put in another 
slash here, so the quick brown. Um, and and here is how you can tell it very specifically, getting the more specifics of what exactly you're trying to capture. Um, let's say that I wanted to um, I wanted to grab words that had an A in it. Or let's let's well you know what? Go ahead. Let's start simple and say I'm gonna um, I want to get all A's. Um, or an E, and so how you do that in in regular expressions is we use these um, brackets, and you put in a pipe, so A or E or an O or a U. Um, I suppose I should put in sometimes, oops, a Y, so I'm getting the vowels. Um, and notice I flagged all those. Now if I had put those um, into the parens, it would have captured them as patterns, uh, but this is a quick, easy, to you know, beginnings of how powerful regular expressions can be, and depending on what you're wanting to do with them. Um, there, there is, oh boy, there's just so many different options you can do, um, and, and it can get quite convoluted. Um, what I typically do also is break it down. Um, don't try to do too much at one time. Limit the, the text, um, and just try to focus on getting a couple things, and keep kind of piecemealing it together. And that's it. Thank you.